we are underway here at uh, the uh, Pro Kit UK Stadium, known more to the locals as Woodside Park. And uh, referee Jamie O'Connor has got us underway. The shots are kicking from left to right as we look at it in the first half. Kobe Rose got the ball now, finds Josh Stokes in those three words, pocket of space, tries the ball through the middle, that doesn't come off, and it will be picked up at the back by Bishop Storford. Their ball forward uh, is cut out quite comfortably. It was from the number five who's playing at right back, Sam Robin. The two changes today are that uh, Kwame Thomas and Josh Stokes come back into the side and uh, uh, rest into the bench are Tolage and Frost. Great win back there from Kwame Thomas. Stokes holding the ball up, shakes off his man, gives it to Thomas, who goes back to Theo Widrington, and he'll go further back to Rowe. So Van Stapperschiff in goal, Harfield, Harries and Rowe, the centre-backs. Ollie Scott, left wing back, Ryan Glover, right wing back, O'Keefe and Widrington in the middle. Stokes playing behind Tolad, uh, beg your pardon, Thomas and Barham. That's force of habit after he's started almost every game this season. The Swiss striker is uh, sat on the bench, second from the right next to Hugo Langs. It's a bursting run forward from Theo Widrington here through the middle. Finds Scott, Scott with a cross in. Barham tries a header. He's about 16 of the 18 yard box out. And he got it all wrong, to be frank about it, Graham. It's behind the goal, goal kick to uh, the home side. The atmosphere that we had last week at West Brom, it's very easy to get caught into a bit of a rut, saying that Richard forward on the break now. Yeah, the number eight through the middle, Kane Critchlow, and he almost trod on the wall. The ball over the top, Barham might get in here. Chips it and hits the keeper. The keeper did well, Giddings to get out. Barham should have been scoring there, to be fair. Eventually took his strike from the edge of the penalty area. The keeper was a couple of feet away from him and he came out so quickly. Barham tried to lift it but couldn't quite get it away. First key moment of the match so far. Top Barham snatched onto it but he just couldn't um, get it past the keeper who narrowed his, his angle pretty well, the keeper. But oh, yes, well, Keith is fouled there but the referee plays an advantage. Barham's got it, he's going down the right side, pulls it back. It's flicked up by Glover and it should be cleared away by Bishop Stortford, but O'Keefe is still down. He overstretched for that one. Bishop Stortford coming away with the ball with the big number 14, Osmus South. And now they're in on the left-hand side of the penalty area. And it's slipped underneath Jordi van Stappershoek. And Kane Critchlow has given Bishop Stortford the lead here in just the sixth minute. Bishop Stortford won all the shot town, nil. one way then the other goes back now the cross comes in it's missed by a couple of people thank you very much indeed Bernard back with our radio listeners now as Bishop Stortford are looking to build another attack here ball comes in from the left hand side and it's touched in by the number 10 Darren Foxley and Aldershot 12 minutes in find themselves two goals down ball slid along the floor nobody picked it up and it went to the back post where the, the, the guys put it in really soft goal to concede and I'm sure the manager will be really really disappointed with the manner that that goal was scored 2-1 up against South Shields they lost the game 3-2 with two late goals they have a tendency to concede late on they have a tendency to concede goals when they're in winning positions and we've got to tap into that but we've got to get that ball back and start winning it start a little bit of fluency and calmness on it they're going to try a shot from distance here deflects wide and behind for a corner to uh, trust these stats in the uh, in the Bishop Stortford program but uh, according to that anyway uh, it's Foxy's fourth goal for the club uh, well Sal's won it at the other end has the ball gone out of play no not given it's pulled back and it's in off the post an order shot appealing that the goal shouldn't stand but it has gone in and Bishop Stortford unfathomably here inside 18 and a half minutes are 3-0 up against Aldershot Town uh, for Bishop Stortford whatever their confidence levels were at three o'clock they are incredibly increased now uh, as Rowe is trying to get the ball off Sal he's behind him and he's not goal side Sal holds it up goes back to the number 17 Aaron Green he gets his cross in it's headed out clear picked up on the edge of the air another shot comes in it's a lovely finish. It's a hat trick for Crane Klitsch, Critchlow, and all the shot of 4 0 down here. Quite staggering scenes at the uh, Pro Kit UK Stadium. Bishop Stortford 4, all the shot 0, and everything Bishop Stortford hit has gone in. And the same can be said about that midfielder wearing the number eight shirt, Kane Critchlow. There. And uh, all the shot. 
taken an age over this throw. Eventually Glover finds Stokes, holds it up, goes back to Jack Byram, sends his cross into the far post. And Kwame Thomas gets a weak header on target. Watford have earned the right to a bit of gamesmanship this afternoon. Uh, Scott throws the ball back to Widrington. He's got Car Harry's to the side of him who can advance if he wants. He just pings the ball out to the right side looking for Glover who sends it back in. First time header towards goal. And Thomas looked to touch it in at the far post and I think just didn't get hold of it or didn't didn't get much on it and it's drifted behind the goal. I think maybe, maybe it was Tolad who diverted Glover's ball to the far post and Thomas arriving and that could have been a, a perfect way back into the game for the shots there. Horsham are now 3-0 down. And here come Bishop Stortford down the right-hand side with the scorer of the second goal, Darren Foxley. Might be their first attack of the second half. Headed away at the far post by Glover up towards Stokes, who rolls and turns the ball into the path of Thomas. Thomas finds Tyler Frost. He could go one-on-one -on -one here against Sam Robin. He's got an underlapping, underlapping run from Barfram. He squares it across, half cleared. Stokes follows up. Oh, what a save. Finally asked a question, Jack Giddens, and he pulls off a remarkable save from Josh Stokes. Corner to shots. Very quick word, Graham. Yeah, good work from there from Barham down the left-hand side. He got the ball in on the byline. Cleared out there, Stokes in a position you'd always fancy him, just on the edge of the 18-yard box. Hit it well, but yeah, the keeper did really well. Parry it and away to his left behind for a corner. Harfield's there, Frost is there, just outside the penalty area. Frost sends it into the far post. Oh, and it's an incredible save, and then it's headed off the line. That's a quite incredible save. I think it was Glover who might have had the effort. Uh, I'll just get that confirmed in a minute, but uh, two brilliant saves from Jack Giddens when asked questions. I don't think Glover could have done any more. Ball back in from Harfield and Barham falls over and Bishop Stortford will look to clear their lines. Ollie Scott's the left back. I think Stokes and Glover are taking it in turns to be the right back. Here is Stokes down by the corner flag on the right hand side. One on one against his man. Can he get past him? He skips past him, squares it across. Half cleared and finally Aldershot bundle the ball over the line and it is Lauren Tolage with his 16th goal of the season. And finally, a little bit of doubt, a tiny little modicum of doubt may be appearing in the heads of the uh, Bishop Stortford players. But they do only have about 18 minutes left. Graham Brookland, 4-1 trying to through ball which has been well cut out by Aaron Green. This is a good game today for Bishop Stortford. He's just motored past the ball into the area and it's that man Critchlow and he scores again his fourth goal of the game and Bishop Stortford have restored their four goal lead with a simple counter attack and Kane Critchlow is having the game of his life. His fourth goal, Bishop Stortford's fifth goal 5-1. ...out of us after just giving ourselves that little bit of a, a glimpse to, to try and get back in. Although here we go again, Harfield in. Cross in, uh, header ooh, on target, over, over the... I beg your pardon, cross on target, header over, and landing on the roof of the net in from Laurent Tolage. Gives the ball to Glover, he exchanges passes with Tolage. Nice return pass from Tolage, he'll get another one back now. Tolage tries a ball inside, which Stokes can't get onto, but Tolage wins it back. Stokes is breaking away into the penalty, pulls it back, looking for Widrington. Frost with a shot, is on target and comfortably saved by Giddens. The easiest of his three saves in the second half, Graham. But all the shot, well, they're huffing and puffing and you can't really say too much more than that. And then it's half cleared and uh, they'll have another counter attack here, Bishop Stortford. And the ball sent out to the right hand side to Godfrey. And there's a sick goal as he plays it inside. And Bishop Stortford, six. Aldershot Town, one. And uh, I think it's another goal for Kane Critchlow, who may have scored five this afternoon. Confirmation to follow, but Bishop Stortford, six. Aldershot Town, one. Nods around me. It's five goals for Kane Critchlow. Absolutely bulldozed out of it by Bishop Stortford. Bottom of the National League North, but flying today. 6-1 up corner to the shots, headed away by the number two, Haynes, only as far as Glover. There is the final whistle, right on time. 
congratulations to Bishop Stortford for Aldershot Town.